World War II Vanguard, the rumored Call of Duty 2021 title for this upcoming year, it's apparently in bad shape from what people are reporting. But is it in such bad shape that we may see our first year of no annual Call of Duty? Today, that's what we hope to examine here a little bit and talk a little bit about these rumors and what you may be able to expect out of these upcoming months here and what we see regarding Call of Duty 2021. So as we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. What do you guys think? If it's in such a bad state, do you think it should be delayed, should be canceled? Do you think that maybe all of this is just a bunch of malarkey and it's something that's totally fine? Whatever it is, feel free to let me know your thoughts down below. But if you enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel and want to stay busy with all things Warzone, COD 2021, and anything COD related, make sure that subscribe button. We're on that road to half a million. Still so weird to say. And finally, before we jump into the video, my friends over at Gamer Advantage are introducing a brand new line of glasses, the Horizon, that are meant to be your more low-key glasses and are comfortable as ever, man. These are only available for a limited time. They come in five different colors, the crystal that I'm wearing now, ruby, sky, obsidian, and bonfire. So if you guys are interested in checking out these limited edition frames, head on over to the link in the description below and check them out for their launch next week. But said it, let's talk about World War II Vanguard and what may be on the horizon. Actually, no pun intended there. That's pretty good, though. So World War II Vanguard, the next Call of Duty game for 2021, has been something that's been rumored for a little while now. It's gone all the way back to the end of last month, where it was first reported that Call of Duty 2021 would be called Call of Duty World War II Vanguard, that would be going back to that World War II setting, and that Sledgehammer Games would be making this upcoming title. And the interesting part about all of that was that it was apparently, one, a World War II game, something that probably not many were expecting to see out of that report, but also that it would be running on Modern Warfare 2019's engine. So a bit more of a cohesive experience compared to recent years here. But then it went through the ringer of all kinds of different rumors. Number one, firstly, kind of detailing that it was reportedly in a very bad state. So much so to the point that there was a rumor of no integration at all for the game within Warzone come later 2021, early 2022. The basic gist of things was that Sledgehammer's less than time frame of developing the game had severely hurt the potential of the project. And this was kind of where we were at for a little while. And if that's true, that makes sense to a degree. If all is to be believed about Sledgehammer and Raven, having to take the back seat and Treyarch coming in and helping out with what is now Black Ops Cold War pre-Modern Warfare 2019 reveal back in 2019. We actually at a point knew more about Call of Duty 2020 than we did about Call of Duty 2019, which was Modern Warfare. That story broke about a week or so before the reveal of Modern Warfare. But if that was the case, Sledgehammer would have had to pivot to support and then have had much less time to turn out their own product, which could have been the potential default to World War II, given that it was fresh in everyone's mind at the studio, and it was probably something that would have been relatively easy to follow up instead of having to research an entirely different area of history, change the entire thematic basis, and everything that was to follow in development. Time went by, nothing else was really said, but then, over the last 48 hours or so, things got kind of weird because we saw a handful of different things come out, but the two biggest that gained traction were on Reddit and another one from an insider sharing information. Now, that insider, the MW2 Ghost, we've talked about him here on the channel. He's shared quite a bit of information that's come true over the past year or so here with this that we've talked about him on the channel, but he ended up saying, got the green light to share this. There is still no certain release date for Vanguard. This is the latest that a firm decision hasn't been made about the release, and it is possible that we won't see Vanguard this year. There are talks of some kind of revamp for Modern Warfare 2019, or a flow of more content for it. There is so much unreleased and potentially saved content for Modern Warfare 2, and of course, Cold War at the front and center. Lastly, there's nothing about Vanguard that would make it a good release this year. So that's kind of a loaded quote there and a lot to digest. The potential that maybe Call of Duty isn't annual this year. Maybe we don't have an annual release coming later this fall. Now, that would directly contradict what we heard in the Activision shareholder meeting as of earlier this year, around the start of February, in which they did confirm we'll have a new game coming in 2021 for Call of Duty, a new mainline title, but I mean, that's still so early on that there is that prospect that maybe it isn't, maybe it's pushed back, maybe it is delayed. And that Reddit leak is also something that kind of echoes this sentiment here with this, in which that Reddit thread ended up saying Sledgehammer Studios are on the verge of getting sent back to a support studio right now. The next Call of Duty is in such a horrible state that it's not even worth it to release it this year. Here's what's going to happen for the franchise this year. Sledgehammer's COD is basically unreleasable in the state that it's in. Infinity Ward will be given back control of Warzone after Cold War Season 5. This was confirmed in an article. I don't know what that's referring to, and they didn't really give any information that pointed to that article, so I have 
have no idea of the validity, the credibility of the source, whatever it may be. Also, that Activision still needs to release something this year, so they are pulling an ace out their sleeve and are releasing Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Multiplayer. Warzone will have a Modern Warfare 2 themed season as a result when Infinity Ward is given back control, and the Soap Operator bundle will not release until Modern Warfare 2 Remastered and that Warzone season. This will hold us over till Modern Warfare 2 in 2022, as the Warzone season leading up to it will serve as a massive marketing campaign for it and introduce us to an entirely new map set somewhere in the Middle East. Now, here's the thing. With that rumor in particular, that Reddit one, I'm right now not trusting that at all. Firstly, number one, it originated from a 4chan variation website. A simply anonymous account could be anyone logged on, posted that. I mean, I could go on, make an account and say, hey, I have details about Call of Duty 2022 and make something up entirely and it would probably have as much weight as this post. But the idea is interesting given that everything seems to be doom and gloom right now. But another thing that I'm kind of skeptical on is that right now this, what is detailed on this Reddit thread, seems to be only just buzzwords. Things that have been talked about before with no additional details, no additional information, but just hitting on those things that are going to trigger some sort of reaction out of you as a Call of Duty fan. A game that's in an unreleasable state. We heard about that this past year with Black Ops Cold War, Infinity Ward getting back control of Warzone. People haven't really been too happy with how Ravens handled it, though I will say Season 3, that launch wasn't half bad. Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Multiplayer, a Modern Warfare 2 themed season, the Soap Operator Bundle, all all of that stuff is stuff we've heard about before and have been rumored, and in some cases are even in the game right now, but there's absolutely no additional information that gives me anything to say, okay, maybe they have something here. Now, that's not to say this isn't true, and it's not to say that the safe bet wouldn't be to delay Vanguard or cancel it if it is in such a bad state, but here's the thing. Even if all of this is true, even if all of this about the state of the game is actually factual, I still don't think that we're going to see it delayed or canceled. And sure, I could absolutely be wrong, but right now, there's a couple of reasons that point towards this. Number one, firstly, we don't even know if this is true at all. It could easily be taken as just the normal crap on COD because that's what's best model for views and everything like that. For all we know, this could entirely be fabricated from square one. Maybe that development is actually going incredibly well. Who knows? But the thing that is more valid here in that thought process, though, is that two, it's Activision. Activision's a business, one of the biggest in the world in the video games industry for sure, and profits are the backbone of a business. To me, there is absolutely no way, especially because we know Activision loves their money, that they'd be willing to drop a yearly release with how much revenue it generates. In the first month and a half, Black Ops Cold War generated an estimated $678 million, which was much less than Modern Warfare, but that was pre-integration, to which since then, an integration is apparently made it to the best-selling game of the year, and also catapulted the Black Ops Cold War title up there in the, I think, like top 20 of the history books for all games, if I'm not mistaken, and my memory serves me correctly. I can't remember the source that I saw that. I do vividly remember, though, reading an article saying that it just skyrocketed in the global and historical ranks for sales numbers of a game. So when you think about Black Ops Cold War, how polarizing of a game that is, that people love it, they hate it, they think it should have been delayed, that it wasn't that great at launch, whatever the case may be, as polarizing a topic as Black Ops Cold Cold War is, it still pulled those numbers as a game that was in turmoil from the beginning of development. So even if it didn't take out Modern Warfare as that pristine Call of Duty in reception and sales numbers in recent years, it's a dang large and shiny penny that came to Activision because of this. And you're telling me that they would then willingly take a year off of not only one, releasing a game, but two, integrating it into Warzone where that drives sales exponentially because the weapons are one, better than the previous year's weaponry, and two, it's incredibly easier to rank up weapons in that mainline title. Listen, it might be a little conspiratorial or evil, however it is, I don't think it's ever been proven, but if a weapon set is more powerful than that of the year before and it's made to drive sales of the current game, that's a genius business model. I'm not saying that it's not incredibly unethical or whatever you want to call it, but that's going to work. So for those reasons, even if this is something that launches terribly, I still think it'll launch. And that now seems to be where the discussion turns elsewhere in the insider industry. Another prominent industry insider, Tom Henderson, has touched on this as well since saying there's two guarantees in life. Number one, we all die. Number two, we get an annual Call of Duty title. And then following up by saying 99% of the stuff that gets posted on 4chan and 4chan related websites are complete and utter garbage. So I think we're kind of back to square one here at this, where that first initial report of maybe it is something that is in trouble but I still think that we'll see a release here coming later this year. 
Would I have liked to seen something in relation to a Modern Warfare 2 remaster multiplayer? That'd be cool. I don't think that it could replace a full-on experience that's brand new, but at the same time, if it's better than something that comes out broken, I'd be okay with seeing that. I just don't think that that actually happens. But that said, that is where we're at here at this, and I think that's where I unwrap the discussion. Keep you guys a little informed here as to the rumors and everything going around right now, and I should say this is all rumors right now. None of this is confirmed. Nothing has been officially stated by Activision, and we likely won't see anything in relation to official marketing for quite some time. If it's anything like Black Ops Cold War, we won't really even see a reveal until August or September of this year. So still a little bit of time away here, especially with the launch of the new map for Warzone. They definitely want to give that time to settle in and get as much marketing view potential as possible. So that's where we're at here with this. Just want to keep you guys in the loop. So let me know your thoughts down below. What do you guys think of this? Do you think that Call of Duty 2021 should be canceled if it is in such a state as described? Do you want to see a return to World War II? Whatever it may be, let me know your thoughts down below. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing writing all things Warzone, Cold War, and of course, COD 2021, where applicable, we'll keep the deal with absolutely everything you need to know. But if you guys also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected on today's YouTube. Probably live on both those. So if you guys want to share about conversation, ask me a question. Question, whatever it may be, that link is down there in the description below. But said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.